as a teacher, the teaching isn't just like the words that come out of my mouth or my time or what I know from meditation. Like the teaching is how the teaching is packaged. It's how it's bundled. It's how it's sold or offered in this case. And um, it's how things are run on the back end. How, like, how does this person suddenly show up in front of you in Zoom and, is, and you're doing like these sessions with? You know, what, what, what's, what's, behind, what's the wizard behind the curtain of this thing? And um, I think so often, yeah, those things are sort of seen as being separate, separate or separable. It's like we have the administration over here and then we have the teaching side over here. Like academic universities are structured that way. And um, unfortunately, that se seems to be a big reason that they've seen such a, a degradation in the quality and the power of their teaching over the years because the sort of administrative side sort of takes over the mission. And it's like, well, the mission is to enroll students. The mission is to bring in more money. The mission is to grow our endowment. And it's like, no, that's not the mission. The mission is to help people learn. And, you know, in our case, we're really wanting to help people learn how to adapt these ancient practices into contemporary times. Um, and so, you know, part of that adaptation is the structure or the organizational form that the I'll use the term Dharma that the Dharma takes. Um, our purpose at Buddhist Geeks is evolving Dharma. And so it's not just evolving like the, the style of teaching, which we do that too, or the words that we use or the metaphors, but it's evolving the, the very form that, 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 the, that the teaching takes. You know? um, and so for me, transparent generosity, holacracy, open source Dharma, they're all part of our attempt. Um, and it's just one small attempt, you know, um, and I'm not saying this will work or that's the best model. It's just, it's what we're working on now. Um, it's our attempt to do that, to, to, to evolve Dharma in the structural and systemic level, as well as in the cultural and the personal and interpersonal level. It's like, uh, it's a, it's an integral approach. Going back to my mentor, Ken Wilber, you know, it's like a, a, at every level, this evolved, this Dharma has to evolve.